An American Christmas Carol was released in 1979. This is directed by Eric Till. It's written by Jerome Cooper Smith, of course, based on the story by Charles Dickens. And we have Henry Winkler playing Benedict Slade, who is our Scrooge character. I was really looking forward to this because I love A Christmas Carol. I will always watch any adaptation of A Christmas Carol or any film even loosely based on Dickens' story. And this one is actually very similar. It's not a carbon copy. Obviously, we don't have Scrooge. We have Slade. We do have the three spirits. We have a child on crutches. This is, of course, set at Christmas time. We have a lot of the key elements of A Christmas Carol, but with enough twists to make it a little bit different. This is also set during the Great Depression, so obviously a little bit later than A Christmas Carol. And honestly, it's fine. Had I never seen A Christmas Carol or read A Christmas Carol, I would have thought this was a really great concept, really well executed. What an amazing idea, the three spirits showing him his past, present and future Christmases. However, I will say because I am such a fan of A Christmas Carol, it just didn't feel as good as that story. And it's obviously not fair to completely compare it to A Christmas Carol because it's not exactly the same. It's not trying to be exactly the same. But if you're a big fan of A Christmas Carol, I don't think you'll love it as much. It just doesn't have exactly the same feel to it. And I think that is largely because it's set a good few decades later. But the core elements are there, and I think it does a decent enough job of telling the story and helping Slade to learn the error of his ways. And the spirits he meets, absolutely fine. No problems with any of those. The performances are fine. The narrative is very, very slow, though. I feel like the film's not even tremendously long, either. It's about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. But it just seemed to go really slowly, particularly with The Ghost of Christmas Past. I feel like that went on for way longer than it needed to be. And because this isn't a carbon copy of A Christmas Carol, they had the opportunity to tighten things up, to make the narrative a little neater. And instead, I feel like they made the narrative longer. So the pacing isn't great at all. But nevertheless, I would say I came away from this feeling quite satisfied that I'd enjoyed a slightly different version of A Christmas Carol. Henry Winkler was absolutely fantastic, brilliant performance there, as I kind of assumed would be the case. Do I recommend it? Sure. If you're a fan of A Christmas Carol, I'd say give it a watch. It's similar enough that it feels like you're watching the same story, but different enough that it's a bit more of a unique perspective. If you've never seen A Christmas Carol, if you've never read A Christmas Carol, please don't make this your introduction to the story. But if you're already a fan, absolutely give it a go. I think there will definitely be elements in this that appeal to you. Obviously, the concept is very similar, works very well. The character of Slade, I think, was very well done. So I don't have too many complaints, but it's not as good as A Christmas Carol. And again, I think that is because of when it was set. Maybe also because I'm British, I do like that aspect of A Christmas Carol. I don't know. It's not like I was thinking, oh, this isn't as good because it's not set in the UK. But at the same time, when I think about it, that is one of the parts that definitely really appeals to me about A Christmas Carol. I never really thought about that before until now. So that was... That was an interesting discovery for me. And that aside, I think it's interesting enough. If you're a fan of A Christmas Carol, definitely check it out. If you are new to A Christmas Carol, please don't make this your introduction to the story or the basic concept of the story. There are many versions I'd recommend. My favourite is the one with Kelsey Grammer. I watched it for the first time I think last year or the year before, and I just fell completely in love with it. But if you don't like musicals, it might not appeal to you. But there are some fantastic versions. But if you are already a fan of the story, already familiar with it, then An American Christmas Carol is one that I'd say is worth watching at least one time. 